It's November again, and boy, it's gonna be an interesting one. I write these way in advance, so I have no idea what's to come in the coming days, uh, maybe weeks. But even I know it's gonna be rough. So, I got to thinking, what topic can I cover that can help us alleviate our worries if not just for a bit? And it was honestly a no-brainer. The film industry of Japan is one of the most architecturally poignant in the world, from Kurosawa's mastering of direction to the Godzilla franchise's rich history of themes and practical effects, and everything beyond and between. This, of course, includes my expertise. Anime films nowadays seem to have a nice rhythm and grasp of what makes them strong, being the writing of thematic prose, animation to a fine degree, and the challenge of balancing modernism with traditionalism in filmmaking techniques. This could be seen with the studios involved, the staffs with hundreds of years worth of shared experience, and the ever-changing flow in how society, storytelling, and animation in general move forward. But I want to dig deeper than just looking over the past 20 years or so of anime films. I want to show and share how the course of this art began and evolved. So, that's what we're gonna do. For this month, I'll be taking a look at 30 movies, from where it started to where we are. Approximately. That's nearly 80 years worth of film history to look at. And as you could imagine, summarizing 8 decades worth of an artist's life within 30 video essays is a bit undercutting it. So I'm only gonna talk about standalone films. Movies not connected to larger franchises like Dragon Ball or something. With one exception. I'm also only covering full-length feature films, those that premiered in theaters with a substantial runtime, as these are typically the ones to point out when it comes for actual casual moviegoers. And lastly, I'm only gonna be talking about movies that came out before 2019. Not that movies like Suzume or The Boy and the Heron aren't worth talking about, but I think I need a little more time to stew on them. Maybe someday though. But aside from those prerequisites, it's fair game. Besides the understanding that I'm only looking at these as films, not their source material. We have a heavy month to get through, whether if it's in the series or outside of it, but regardless, get settled as it's gonna be a fascinating time no matter what. Who knows, maybe my possibly bad opinions would actually be the worst thing that happens. This is Any November 2024, Anime Movies Edition. <laughs> 